we're steaming a uh, carpet <clears throat> with a Dupre neat, 275 degrees at 50 psi. And we did put down a pre spray. Yes, indeed. It's not essential that you do that, but we do because we're uh, being paid to clean these carpets. So we put down a pre spray because that's part of what the customers are paying for. Ooh, look at the carpets just start shining. Yeah. When they do that, you know you got it made. Now we're using a regular floor pad that comes with the neat that you can attach to the bottom of the floor tool. And we use that on carpets, and it helps you to maintain a, a good high temperature and pressure. So we have found when you're cleaning carpets, you don't have to stop and let the boiler heat back up. It maintains an adequate temperature and pressure for you. So you can go pretty much wide open. And you do have about 50 minutes um, of cleaning time, which is enough to clean quite a bit of carpet. Well, if you're not paying attention, look at all that beautiful steam. It doesn't always show up in the videos, but it seems Everybody like it's showing up today if I can get the... Right angles. He already did steam the carp, the uh, closets, and behind the door. Yeah, I got that off camera. Who wants to see that, right? Yeah. Now there's a mustard stain that he's getting to. He's We're going not going to get that out. Yeah, mustard's one of those stains that uh, a lot of times you are not getting them out with anything, and you don't want to destroy the carpets trying to get stuff out. Some things just are not going to respond to cleaning, and that's just a permanent a reminder that somebody had a hot dog in here. They did something. Of course, if it came out now, that'd be funny, huh? Mm, that'd be great, but yeah, it won't. If I got that out, I'm going to charge someone 40 or $50. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're not getting paid to uh, do any specialty treatments, so whatever comes out with our basic cleaning method is what's coming out, and anything else they'd have to pay extra for. We want to charge them anyway because you can't. we're not taking that mustard out, and that's the only specialty cleaning we really have to deal with. This yellow mustard stains. They'll never get mustard in your carpets. You ask any carpet cleaner, this is the most dreaded things you can mess with is mustard. And slime. Don't let <laughs> yeah. your kids play with slime on, on the carpeted areas. But. You know what they say, mom don't let your kids grow up to be cowboys. Don't let them play with slime either. Not over the carpet. Have them go outside with that stuff. Alright, this carpet, <clears throat> this is another job that's a last minute job. And we have an arrangement with this uh, property that they're supposed to vacuum have it vacuumed when we arrive, but they have been uh, so far behind lately that a lot of times they haven't had the housekeeper in when we get there. The carpets aren't vacuumed and we just clean them anyway. And yep. They can vacuum them later. The carpets will be dry and they can just vacuum away. So about to vacuum it tomorrow. Yep. Right before the renter moves in. It's not our deal. Alright. Oh, the carpets are coming up nice. Yeah, this is a great method for cleaning carpets because it's going to dry. Uh, we, we advertise for uh, locally that we can get carpets basically they're clean and then they're dry in about an hour. And the steamer's faster than our other method that we use primarily. So well, a lot of times we, the carpets... We've we, we it clean and it'll dry our carpet. I mean, we've done houses that are four bedroom homes and by the time we get done with the fourth room, the first and second bedrooms are done. They're dry and I mean, they're dry. Uh, this dries even faster. A lot of times, by the time we finish this room, the part we started at may be completely dry by then. It depends on the weather. If the air is pretty saturated with humidity already, then it's not going to dry as fast. But Well, if you're doing this in your home, and you're not pre-spraying, you're just using steam, the carpets are dry in 10 seconds. No, I'm not joking. Buy one of these and see it for yourself. The carpets are dry in 10 seconds after you clean them. I mean, it's... it's you're not getting a bunch of water into it. All you're using is uh, all you're using is vapor. Yeah. That's yeah, a lot of steamers that you may have seen, maybe you've had some uh, less expensive steamers in your house, and they put out a lot of water when they uh, when you're using them. And this puts out a drier steam at 275 degrees. And even when you're using it, it as long as it can stay of up around 230, 240, you're going to have a drier steam. And of course, uh, a lot of steamers that you could buy really only hit a 200 to 212, something like that. And they are not able to maintain that temperature during use. So you're going to get a lot of, a lot of the water you put in there to, to heat up. A lot of that water just comes through the hose as hot water. And it cuts down on the amount of water available to, to create steam. 
and it shortens the time that you have to clean with. Plus, you have a lot wetter uh, carpets and things like that when you get done. Now, we had somebody message us a while back and say, well, <coughs> if these neat steamers get 275 degrees, what if I bought one of the ones that gets up to 365? Would it be better because it's hotter? And the truth is, they can get, you. well, we're not sure about this, but what we've heard from people that mess with steamers, if you get them too hot, they get so dry, they didn't really put any moisture in the carpet. And if you don't get any moisture in the carpet at all, even 5%, you may not get the carpet stain, even though the machine goes to 365 or 400. So yeah. you've got to be careful. You mean There's a balance point. You want heat, but you want a little bit of moisture too, because it makes it easier to clean. And if you get it too hot, where it's drier, it will kind of slow the process down a this, little bit. This may actually be the perfect steamer as far as temperature-wise and stuff, where you can actually get a... Uh, yeah, it's a good balance. You get you get five percent water, and some of those, I mean, they won't get no, they don't put any water. They're just pure steam, and they're three fifty, four hundred degrees. But all they turn green. Uh, but whenever you're doing that, you gotta remember if you don't have a little bit of moisture, you, you may not do nothing but hit a hot steam in the carpet. It may or may not. We've heard people say that you can't clean the carpets with the hotter. They they bought these off of our Amazon thing, and they've done a better job with these, and they have their machines that go up to almost four hundred degrees. It's green. Because these here get the carpets just a little bit wetter. When I say wetter, I, I mean they dry in 10 seconds, but that's still wetter than 365 because 275 or 365 is like, you know, just under 100 degrees in difference. Now, when you're cleaning, <clears throat> if you're cleaning hard floors or hard surfaces, what you've got to keep in mind is when you have a uh, high temperature it's got a little bit of just a slight bit of vapor in it. When, when you have something that's really hot like that, it hits something that's a cold hard surface, you're going to get condensation. So when you're doing floors with one of these, you are going to probably want to, you know, follow up with a uh, microfiber and mop it. Or let it dry. We've done some Or let it dry. If you're using distilled water in the boiler, um, you may not have any residue left on the, on the floor uh, when you get done. But if you are using regular tap water, which you're allowed to do with this unit, then you may notice a little bit of streaking and everything when you're done. So uh, it's a good idea to basically as you go, also use a microfiber to wipe up with. If you're, if you're in the market to buy a steam cleaner, we're not trying to say buy this one or else, but I'll tell you, if you're going to clean carpets, this one might be as hot as you can get while you still got enough moisture to, to help you clean the carpet with, with lots of steam and just a small amount of moisture. Uh, yeah, this is excellent for carpets and if you like to clean furniture, things like that. If oh, you're yeah. into car detailing, it's Floors. a good... Yeah. yeah, it's a good combination for that. But if you want, but to, it's uh, not. But if you want to clean, uh, like if you're going to clean, uh, basically like industrial kitchens and yeah, things like you, that. Yeah, you want to get one that's like 400 degrees. You want to get a bigger one. Yeah, something's got a lot more run time. Ovens are baked with four or five hundred dollar, four or five hundred uh, degrees of stuffs baked in them. So how are you going to clean that up with 300 degrees of steam? All right, we so, finished this room. We're going to rake it. That's the last thing we got to do is rake it to make it look nice and uniform. Uh, I'm not going to bother to show that. There's a, uh, in the video description below this video, there, I'll put a link so that you can go see this product on Amazon. And I'll put a link also there for what, we have an Amazon influencer storefront, which sells, we sell other steamers as well and lots of other equipment you might find useful. So check those things out and please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.